Hey there, this is Craig Shoemaker, new media evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started, there's just a few things I want to share with you. If you have any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. For support, you can head over to infragistics.com slash get help. And if you're looking for documentation on any one of our controls, you can go to infragistics.com slash docs. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Well, welcome to the introduction to the web spell checker control. This is going to be like the hello world for our new control web spell checker. To start things off, I'd like to uh, give you a demo here. And here we've got a text area with two guys walking to a bar and, you know, every good joke starts off that way. So we have the intentional uh, spelling error right here. So let's click on check spelling. We have a window that pops up and allows us to correct the spelling error and uh, everything works seamlessly. It's all done really easily and there's not really much code, so let me show you how it's done. So just one note uh, before I create the application here about the environment. I'm using um, Visual Studio 2008 running .NET 3.5 and I have NetAdvantage 2008 Volume 2 installed in this machine. So we will begin by creating a new website. Just pick an ASP.NET website, make sure we're pointed at uh, the .NET Framework 3.5. Um, we're going to come in here to... Uh, web spell checker the folder I've got here and I'm just gonna call this uh, WSC and uh, we'll leave it at that so once we create the application there's really not a lot that needs to be done I'm gonna switch over to design view the first thing I'd like to do is add a a server control text box um, just a regular text box and then we're also going to add in a button now this button needs to be an HTML button and the reason is, is because if you use a server control, the postback mechanism will get in the way of the JavaScript that needs to be generated in order to pop up the dialog box for the spell checker. So we, we have these two items here, and then the last thing that I need to add to this page is the, the web spell checker control. So we'll drop that on there as well. So the text box here, what we'll do is we'll call this TXT content. The button, let's keep it easy. This one we'll call uh, BTN check. And uh, for the value, we'll just, we'll just stick in here, check spelling. I forgot on the text box, we need to do uh, just a few more things. Um, we're gonna make this a multi-line text box just so it's easier to see and just change the dimensions a little bit. So now, now we're getting somewhere. Now for the web spell checker control itself, um, we have to look at the text component ID and we need to point this at um, our text box so it knows where to get the content that it's, that it's going to be checking. And finally on the button ID, btn check and that's how it knows which one of the controls on the page is going to initiate the spell check. Now there's one final thing that we need to do. I'd like to drop into code behind in order to do it. We need to give a path to a page that we haven't created yet, but it's the page that will host uh, an, another a complementary control for the spell checker, and that is the dialog window for the spell checker. So for the control, we'll say web spell checker one, web spell checker dialog page. And I want to create a relative path to this, this page so that whether I'm using it in development or it's deployed to a debugging or perhaps a uh, staging or production environment, it still all works the same. So I'm going to say uh, resolve URL and then we'll create this page in just a moment. I'm going to give it a tilde so to go to the root of the site and we'll call this spell checker dialog or spell check dialog. And that's all we need there. So let's finally let's let's go back and, and create that page. So we just need to create a new web form. Call this spell check dialog. And and really to get it working, all we need to do is drag on the web spell checker dialog control onto this page. And now when we run the default page, uh, we should be able to type in some text and get it checked for us. So, two guys walk into a bar. I know you're already laughing. Check the spelling. Here comes our dialog box. We can check it and everything is good. Well, I hope this gives you a really good overview of the web spell checker control. 
Make sure you check out the website for even more videos. And this is Craig Shoemaker. I'll be talking to you soon. Infragistics, powering the presentation layer. Infragistics.com.